Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. In this video, I'm going to set up and review this GE Attic Pro TV antenna. It runs about $40 on Amazon and claims reliable reception within 70 miles of the broadcast towers. I'm going to talk about how I feel about this antenna, how well it performs, and whether or not you can only use in the attic. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now the first thing I want to mention that many of my longtime subscribers are probably tired of hearing me say, there's no such thing as an HD digital antenna. Antennas are essentially pieces of metal designed to pick up certain frequencies on the VHF and UHF band. They are not designed for digital broadcasts, they're designed for the frequencies. What is VHF and UHF? VHF has to do with TV stations that broadcast on channels 2 through 13, and UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 and above. It's important to note where TV stations are broadcasting on your area because different frequencies require different types of antennas. UHF frequencies are better with smaller antennas and VHF frequencies usually need larger antennas. It's also important to note that most TV stations do not broadcast on the channel number you may know them as. So if you have a Fox 5 or an NBC4 in your area, they may not be broadcasting on the VHF band. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look for the RF channel number. The virtual channel is a channel that the station identifies as, so in my market, NBC 28 WBRE. But the RF channel is a channel that they broadcast on. I also want to make it clear that there's no such thing as a special attic antenna. Yes, this antenna is marketed as an attic antenna, but you could use it anywhere you'd like. Put it on an RV, put it outside, put it in the attic, put it in your mom's basement. You need to look at the frequencies that it works on, not so much that it's designed for the attic. Yes, it would probably last longer in the attic, but you could still use this antenna outside. Getting back to this antenna, the design of it is not the worst. It does have a VHF element here and some focus elements, few reflectors, and then a single VHF dipole. Although I did notice that the build quality is not the best. This is mostly plastic here. It's not as bad as this antenna that I make fun of in a lot of my videos, and there goes my phone. This is down to only a few elements left because I like to throw it and make fun of it in my videos. It's a piece of junk, and if you have this antenna, you really should get rid of it. Let's go see how many elements are left. Well, they actually stayed on. This is built a little bit better than that antenna, but it's still not the sturdiest, but hey, it's only 40 bucks and I think it will last a lot longer than the antenna I just showed you. I'm now going to test out this antenna in the same location I've tested out various other outdoor antennas on my YouTube channel. The TV stations I'll be testing out are both on the VHF and UHF band, about 45 miles from my location. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. Two edge means two edge diffraction or two ridges weakening the signal between me and the transmitter. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal strength on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 50, was pretty decent with this antenna, about the same as a Televis antenna, a little bit higher than the Channel Master Stealth antenna. The signal strength on WYOU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was lower on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out. There is also significant breakup in the picture. The signal strength on WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11, was also lower with this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out. It doesn't seem to be doing the best with VHF channels. The signal strength on Fox 56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was pretty decent with this antenna, a little bit lower compared to the Televis antenna, but higher compared to the Channel Master Stealth antenna. 
The signal strength on Fox 29's low powered repeater station in my area was about the same on this antenna compared to Televis antenna, a little bit higher than Channel Master antenna. The signal strength on NJTV's repeater station was about the same on this antenna compared to Televis antenna and higher than the Channel Master Stealth antenna. Overall, this antenna did pretty well on the UHF band, but did not do that well on the VHF band. It'll probably work in locations that have strong signals, but when the signals start to get a little weak, especially on the VHF band, this antenna may have problems. The 70 mile claim is also a stretch. I don't think this antenna is going to get TV stations reliably from 70 miles away, even if they are on the UHF band. It's just not large enough. No doubt this antenna would work pretty good in the suburbs and the attic, and it may work outside for some of you that aren't in a severe weather prone area. But if you are in an area that gets tornadoes, hurricanes, and a lot of strong winds, this antenna may not be a good fit for you because as I said, there's a lot of plastic on here that seems okay for now, but leave it out in the sun for 10 or 20 years and it's not going to look like this. Now we all know there are a lot of antennas out there and it's hard to determine which antenna works best for a given situation. I said that this antenna may work decent for the attic if you're in a suburban area, but not the best on VHF. And what exactly am I talking about? I do offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. There I go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the frequencies, how strong and weak they are, and determine what antenna will work best for your unique reception situation. Antennas truly are not a one size fits all model. And investing in a custom antenna recommendation from me can save you a decent amount of money not buying the wrong antenna and spending hours setting up only to realize, oh, I'm not getting my local NBC station. And then you buy another antenna and that doesn't work and you end up going crazy. I do offer this service on my website at antennamanpa.com. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. Feel free to check out my other videos for more antenna reviews or sign up for a custom antenna recommendation on my website if you aren't quite sure which antenna is the best fit for you. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching and have an awesome day.